क्लैब्यम्मागम पार्थन तत्वयूपद्यते शूद्र हृदय दौर्बल्यम त्यक्तवोतिष्ट पर अब इस श्लोक में श्री कृष्ण क्या कह रहे हैं अर्जुन से हे hey अर्जुन हे hey दुष्टों का नाश करने वाले तुम इतने कायर होकर अपने कर्तव्यों से मुख नहीं मोड़ सकते उठो याद रखिएगा कमजोरी जरूर ईश्वर देता है पर उसकी लिमिट इंसान डिसाइड करता है इंसान थकेगा जरूर पर कब वो खुद डिसाइड करेगा ना समता पॉइंट इन टॉपिक ऑफ द चैप्टर न्यूट्रल कंट्रोल एंड कॉर्डिनेशन सो ह्यूमन न्यूरल सिस्टम इट इज डिवाइडेड इंटू टू पार्ट सी एन एस सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम एंड पी एन एस पेरिफिल नर्वस सिस्टम सी एन एस कंसिस्ट ऑफ ब्रेन एज वेल एज स्पाइनल कॉर्ड देन इन पी एन एस टू टाइप्स आर देयर ए फ्रेंड फाइबर्स एंड ई फ्रेंड फाइबर्स टू टाइप ऑफ नर्व फाइबर इन पी एन एस इज देयर ए फ्रेंड एंड ई फ्रेंड पी एन एस डिवाइड इन टू टू डिविजन्स कॉल्ड सोमैटिक न्यूरल सिस्टम एज वेल एज ऑटोनॉमिक न्यूरल सिस्टम ऑटोनॉमिक नर्वस सिस्टम इज डिवाइडेड इन टू सिंपेथेटिक न्यूरल सिस्टम देन देर इज पैरासिपेथेटिक न्यूरल सिस्टम विसरल नर्वस सिस्टम इज द पार्ट ऑफ पेरीफरल पी एन एस दैट कंप्राइज होल कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑफ नर्व फाइबर गैंगलिया एंड प्लेक्सिस बाय विच इम्पल्स ट्रेवल फ्रॉम सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम टू विसरल एंड फ्रॉम विसरा टू सी एन एस सो मोस्ट ऑफ द पॉइंट्स अवर न्यूर ऑन वी नो मूव टू द नेक्स्ट देन देर इज ट्रांसमिशन वी नो देर इज सिनेप्टिक क्लैफ फ्लूड फील्ड कैविटी देन कम टू द ब्रेन इट हैज क्रेनियल मैनेजेस आउटर मोस्ट मैनेजेस इज कॉल्ड द पायामेटर नॉट ओनली दैट then there is फो arachnoid middle layer then there is the innermost layer पाया matter brain can be divided into three major parts फोर brain mid brain another thing is hind brain फोर brain it consists of cerebrum thalamus as well as hypothalamus even better than a deep cleft divides cerebrum longitudinally into two halves that is cerebral right and left cerebral hemisphere hemisphere connected by tract of nerve fiber called corpus callosum the layer which covers the cerebral hemisphere called the cerebral cortex and it is thrown into prominent folds the cerebral cortex referred to as gray matter due to its grayish appearance neuron cell bodies concentrated here giving the color cortex contain motor areas sensory areas and large regions that are neither clearly sensory nor motor in function that region called this region called association association areas it's for for complex function like intersensory association memory then communication fibers of tract cover the myelin sheath white matter white matter consists of axons which are covered by myelin sheath give opaque appearance that's that's why this Layer. This is called white matter. Cerebrum wrap around a structure called thalamus, which is major center for the sensory and motor signaling. Another important part of the brain is hypothalamus lies at the base of the thalamus. Hypothalamus contain number of centers which control body temperature, urge for eating, drinking. It also contains several group of neurosecretory cells which secrete. hormone called hypothalamic hormone in a part of the cerebellar hemisphere and a group of associated deep structures called amygdala hippocampus etc form a complex structure called the limbic lobe or limbic system along with the hypothalamus it is involved in regulation of the sexual behavior expression of emotions 
reactions like excitement pleasure rage fear and motivation then come to mid brain located between the thalamus hypothalamus of fore brain and pons of hind brain canal called cerebral aqueduct passes through the mid brain dorsal portion of the mid brain consists of mainly four round swellings lobe called carpora quadrigemina then hind brain it consists of pons cerebellum med medulla oblongata pons consists of fiber tract that interconnect different region of the brain cerebellum has very convoluted surface in order to provide additional space for the many more neurons medulla of the brain is connected to the spinal cord medulla contain centers which control respiration cardiovascular reflexes gastric reactions the major region make up the brain is mid brain pons and medulla oblongata brain stem form connection between brain and spinal cord then reflex action for reflex pathway at least one efferent neuron means receptor one efferent exciter effector neuron arranged in series efferent neuron get the signal send it to the cns through dorsal nerve root then sense organs first eye layer of eyes so outermost layer is the cord sclera it is composed of dense connective tissue its anterior portion is called cornea middle layer choroid contains many blood vessels look bluish in color this layer is thin over posterior two third of the eye bowl but in the anterior part it becomes thick and form ciliary body ciliary body itself continues forward to form pigmented opaque structure called iris which is visible portion of the eye the eye bowl contain transparent crystalline lens which is held in place by ligament attached to the ciliary body size of pupil is controlled by iris then in in inner layer retina is there contain three layer of neural cells from inside to outside there is ganglion bipolar then photoreceptor cells two types of photoreceptor cells rod and cones are there they contain they contain light sensitive proteins called photopigments rod contain rods contain purple red purplish red protein called rhodopsin or visual purple so rod contain purplish red protein called the rhodopsin or the visual purple it contain derivative of vitamin a three type of cone are there red green and as well as blue sensation of different color produced by the various combination of these cones and their photopigments when these cones are stimulated equally there is sensation of white light is there optic nerve leave the eye and the retinal blood vessels enter it at a point medial to slightly above the posterior pole of the eye bowl photoreceptor cells not present in this region that's why this called blind spot at the posterior pole of the eye lateral to the blind spot there is a yellowish pigment spot called macula lutea the central pit called the fovea here cones are densely packed so visual acuity is greatest then space between the cornea and the lens is called aqueous chamber and the space between the because contain watery fluid and the space between the lens and the retina is called vitreous chamber it is filled by transparent gel called vitreous humor so mechanism of vision we know the photosensitive compounds photo pigments 
in human eye consist of opsin a protein even better than there is retinal an aldehyde of vitamin a light indu induces dissociation of the retinal from opsin resulting in changes in the structure of opsin then there is change in the membrane potential action, poten action potential is generated in the ganglion cell through the bipolar cells these action potentials are transmitted by the optic nerves to visual cortex of the brain these impulses are analyzed and the image formed on the retina is recognized based on earlier memory and experience then the ear it is also divided into three parts external ear middle ear then there is internal ear external ear there is pinna middle ear there is then in external ear there is pinna external auditory meters then this meters leads inwards and extend up to tympanic membrane the ear drum there are many very fine hairs and wax secreting gland in the skin of pinna and meters tympanic membrane consists of connective tissue covered by covered with skin outside then with mucous membrane inside middle ear consists of mis malleus incus stipes from outside to inside stipes is the smallest bone stipedius is the smallest muscle they are connected in chain like fashion malleus is attached to tympanic membrane and the stipes is attached to oval window of the cochlea again the malleus is attached to tympanic membrane stipes is attached to oval window of the cochlea ear ossicles increase the efficiency of the transmission of sound waves to the inner ear then a uh, eustachian and eustachian tube connect middle ear cavity with the pharynx this eustachian tube help in equalizing the pressure on either side of the eardrum F the fluid filled inner ear called labyrinth consists of two parts bony and membranous labyrinth bony labyrinth is a it's a series of channels inside these channels lies the membranous labyrinth which is surrounded by a fluid called perilymph the membranous labyrinth is filled with a fluid called endolymph cold portion of the labyrinth is called cochlea membrane constitute constituting cochlea the listener and basilar divide the surrounding perilymph filled bony labyrinth into an upper scala vestibuli lower and a lower scala tympani space within the cochlea called scala media then space within cochlea called scala media filled with endolymph at the base of the cochlea scala vestibuli ends at the oval window upper is scala vestibuli lower is tym scala tympani at the base of cochlea scala vestibuli ends at the oval window while the scala tympani terminate at the round window which open open to the middle ear then organ of corti is a structure located on the basilar membrane which contain hair cells that act as auditory receptors hair cells are present in rows on the internal side of the organ of corti the basal end of the hair cell is in contact with the afferent nerve fiber large number of processes called stereocilia are project projected from the apical part of the each hair cell above the rows of the hair cells is a thin elastic membrane called tectorial membrane is there the inner ear also contains complex system called vestibular apparatus located above the cochlea vestibular apparatus is composed of three semicircular canals and the otolith macula is the sensory part of the cochlea and utricle utricle each semicircular canal lies in different plane at right angle to each other the membranous canals are suspended in the 
perilymph of the bony canals the base of the canal is a swollen and is called ampulla which contain projecting ridge called crista ampullaris which has hair cells the sacule and utricle contain a projecting ridge called a macula the crista and macula are the specific receptor of the vestibular apparatus responsible for the maintaining of the balance of the body and posture so mechanism is there then signals through three bones mallesuncus tepes reach to the oval window the vibration pass through the oval window on, on the fluid of the cochlea they generate where they generate waves in the lymph waves in the lymph induce a ripple in the basilar membrane this movement of the basilar membrane bend the hair cells pressing them against the tectorial membrane as a result nerve impulses are generated in the associated afferent neurons these impulses are transmitted by the afferent fibers via auditory nerves to the auditory cortex of the brain where the impulses are analyzed and the sound is recognized that's all thanks for watching